Excuse me. Twenty five hundred. I got a delivery. For who? I'm not sh not sure yet, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be here because that's where the that's where the map leaves me at. But I think I got I think I got like wood on the truck. Okay. Um, yeah, they'll be here probably next 15 minutes or so. You been driving? Uh, about two years. Two years. Twenty-eight years. How long you been driving? Um, eight hours. About nine years. You get paid more money or less money than if you was to become just a regular OT, uh, o, OTR driver? It all depends. I mean, I would make our our road drivers are making probably. 20,000 more than me. But I'm, I'm also making around 28 an hour. The biggest problem we're having right now is getting truck drivers out here to drive. How important is it for new drivers to save money out here in trucking? <laughs> Scale one to 10, probably about a seven. It's pretty important, but. And there's always. <laughs> I mean, it's always important to get money for everything because you never know you have a bad day. Very important. Why? Because if I'm not saving the money, that means I'm taking money from my family. You think, do you think like older, old school drivers that's been driving for a long time that don't have nothing to show for, you know, the time that they was, that they be out here kind of mismanage their money during that time? Correctly. So, I, I get paid the same amount of money as the next person to me. For example, there's a guy down the road from me, does the exact same job I do, calls the exact same load I do. His equipment is 15 to 20 years old, mine's six months old. And I get paid the exact same amount of money as he does. It costs me the same exact amount of money to transport that load as it does for him. He gets $35 a mile, I get $35 a mile. He's, his pilot cars cost the same, my pilot cars cost the same. But he's got 20 kids standing in line doing this. Mm -hmm. And I kick every one of mine to the curb. I mean, in your opinion, like how important it is to save money for new drivers? For new drivers? Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's probably one of the, the most important. It's, it's pretty high up there because, you know, as far as being an owner operator, you gotta have money for maintenance. the one thing you dislike about trucking today? Dislike? Oh. Yeah. The companies. Ooh, why you say that? Because they're all about the numbers and not about the people anymore. Being a hold for my family. All right. I'm going all the time. What is the one thing you dislike about trucking today? Then they don't find the parking. Welcome to Trucker Path. We help make truckers' lives easier on the road. Let's get started by opening the app. TruckerPath Pro displays truck stops, way stations, parking availability, fuel, Walmarts, and more. Inexperience. Okay. Need more experience. Need to train people better. And somebody's got to pull the head out of us. What do you think about self-driving trucks? The way of the future or no? Uh, not, not. Like maybe next 10, 15, 20 years, I think. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's definitely there. Hmm. I think it's the future. It's, eventually, it's going it's to happen. It's going to be dangerous. I don't think, I don't think that'll probably ever happen because, you know, uh, I think 
think that'll be, a, in my opinion, I think it, it'll cause a lot of fatalities, you know, as far as, because uh, nowadays drivers, you, you can never predict an, another unsafe driver. And uh, I, I'm not too sure if the mechanism of their, uh, of the self-driving trucks, how quick they can stop or, right. or if they can react as a human can. So, All right. yeah, I don't know if that's everything. That's Why do you think trucking companies are having a hard time finding drivers? Um, I don't know if it's because of the qualifications of the, of the people, or um, maybe that, that maybe that's one of the reasons. Hey, nice job, idea. Oh, thank you. Because we're putting too many restrictions and DOTs, put cameras and everything, just so they can have insurance. Mm. Why do you think trucking companies are having a hard time finding drivers today? Because it's not an easy job. People don't want to leave home. People want to stay at home, play games. They want to party every day. It's a great answer. That's good. I think a lot of drivers, the one thing, I guess it's just being away from home. Right. And then, you know, they lying and, you know, not telling the truth about the situation. Exactly. Maybe the, the companies are, are just not willing to train them, take the time and to train them the right way. From one to 10, rate your dispatcher. 10. I'm an owner operator, so I do my own dispatching. I'm on company, I'm on pilots, I do my own freight. I own everything. That's I don't what's do up. outsource nothing. Give me a number. Can say about five. My dispatcher, I'd have to give him at least a six. I'm my own dispatcher over here. Oh, so oh. you giving yourself a honey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what has trucking done for you? Oh, uh, it made me. Uh, it made me. Uh, it opened a lot of doors for me as far as being like a business owner. Uh, it, uh, it gave me a lot of uh, eye opening as far as uh, being more successful in life. Me and my family going. All right. I get out here and meet a lot of Christian people and have a good time. I have done a lot mentally. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. My family, I gained a whole lot. I mean, I work hard. And what has trucking done for you, Big Mac? I come from working for the other person, mm -hmm. making 60, 70,000 a year. Now I'm making five or six million a year. That's what's up, man. You stay safe. My name's Lockout Man, man. Check me out on YouTube. Dude. Okay. Who is you? It's you.